questions. Oh, we're live. Yo, what's up, guys? We're over here with the man himself. Woo! Number one Wait, realtor. Not man, nah, not this oh, man. man. Number one real estate agent in Rhode Island. No, what? in the world. Uh, Who are I mean, you? I, I'm, I'm all right. So I was top in Rhode Island the last three years, and then in um, in KW, I was top in the country three years. All right, let's do the setup right here before we start the podcast. We're about to do a podcast right there. Can you see this Kyle? Doesn't know what he's doing. Hey, you go. You set it. Set that thing up. Set it up in the. Put something here so it can see. Put it on what? Yo, what's up, world? They can see us. This is yeah, no, I man. I got this. Just All sit right. down. I gotta Just start the podcast. Introduce though. yourself. All right, hold on. Let me is that thing on? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So be on your best behavior. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Arthur. Episode number twenty of the Modern American Dream, and we're over here with Kyle Siebert from Rhode Island. Okay. So Kyle, for those that don't know who you are, you're the number one real estate agent in the whole Pell Williams franchise. Why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about you and who you are. Sure, so I am, so my office is in Providence, Rhode Island, like you mentioned. I was the top individual agent in Keller Williams last, uh, two years in a row, hopefully this year as well, so that would be three years running. Woo! Uh, last year I made, I cracked the top ten on the Wall Street Journal. I saw that, congratulations. So that was a big thing, and, and again, it's really, on my end, it's really all about helping buyers and sellers, so it's not about... Staff recognition, that stuff's great, but what does that come with? It comes with client satisfaction. So for me, that's what it's all about. That means I have a lot of happy clients, right? So Absolutely. That's what that translates Love into. it, love it. So why don't we do this? Tell us, just so these people know that the modern American dream only brings the real deal. Tell us how many deals you closed this year so far. Yep. So this year, as of August, Keller Williams monitors it. You know, yep. you can see all the numbers. Yep. I was at 342 wow. yep. end of August. Um, 342. 342 goal this year. We talked about it when we first met. Yeah. The goal was 500. Uh, so, so you're going to hit it? I, you got to get this train on the road, baby. I, I think we can do it. I think I can do it. Um, it's close. It's going to be close. It's going to come down to the wire. So right now, as you guys know, yep. it's what you do from now until end of October. Yeah. Yep. After end of October, it's, it's, it's all done. It's written. Now, I do have 130 pending. You have 130 pending. 130 How many listings? 130 I have 132 pending. listings. Yeah. Wow. So I have 132 listings, 100 of which are residential, 32 are, are commercial. Um, and then I have... Yes. Uh, He's a single agent. 130 pending. Yep. Do you want so a talk? lot of people, that's actually been a big question. A lot of people have What's asked, up, like, guys? No yeah, he's a single agent. John, what's up, agent. man? So tell us about like what your organization looks like. I mean, to sell 500 homes a so, year. So I am on record. I am the only, I am a single agent. It is just me. There yeah. is no hey, other realtor. Can that you, you scooch in? There's no, 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 you got to scooch in. Dude. Yeah, there is no yeah, other stay there right is, in. No Tell the realtor. camera. There's True. no other realtor. No other no realtor. Other realtor. One man show. It's, no. it's one person. Uh, I have a great admin staff. Tell us about your support staff. So my support staff is great. I have my wife. Yeah. Who handles. She can handle the administrative tasks of four or five people. Uh, yeah. I, I heard ten. Probably <laughs> ten. I have a, uh, another admin. Her name is Amanda. She does really well. It just matters. She does. And then I have a gentleman that runs around for me and helps out with like smoke detectors and that, all that yeah. kind of stuff. That Home inspections. Yeah, anything that, anything that, that doesn't involve bringing revenue into the business. Yes. Right. So that's yes. the way I structure my business. So I'm not sitting at a home inspection. Yeah. That's not a good use. I mean, most of the times that I see you, you're you work. Like he doesn't man. sleep. Like even Amanda was saying, like you can't knock the guy's hustle. He comes in. 7 a.m., 7 p.m., and then she doesn't know, but you probably go home and work some more. So oh, I, I was up last night till 1. 1 a.m. So what time did you wake up today? 6 o'clock. Six so, six. I mean, that's, 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 wow. what, like, that's flat out like how it is. Is So it's it's 6 in the morning till 12 or 1 every night. What? That's 6, 7 Because there is no other way. I, that when you have that much volume, you have to treat every client as their only client. Yeah. Yeah. How do you do that? You, have to, you yeah. have to extend the day. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to take things and put things in perspective, right? So you say, okay, what's my profit generating stuff? That yeah. takes precedence, yeah. right? Now, who's my clients that are agitated, aggravated, or annoyed? 
You know, those are my second piece. Yeah, yeah. And now who? Like every week, I follow up with all my actors. Yeah, every, every single week. Every week. That's like 120 week. people. Yeah, and, sometimes and, and, that's like 150 people. So, right? like, oh, it's more. So yeah. what happens is I do this. Is how I do it on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, I hit every single active listing. Every yeah. seller that has an active listing gets contacted. And, and I just want to interject here. You, you, on Tuesday, you do yeah. this while you're driving around. No, I point I, to a point. No, you stop. No, so I'm, so no, how I do that? Been here on it. Oh, so, oh, oh, and the active list. Things in the in the pending stuff. I do Tuesday from six a.m. to yeah. seven thirty. I hit all my actors. So you actually call them? I text them. Okay. They all get a text. Six a.m. to seven thirty. So it's an hour and a half to go through that. Yeah. And yeah. what do you text them? I just want to reach out, kind of give them a feedback of how the showings have been. So you do this one by one. One by one. You're just saying like this is what happened with your listing last Absolutely. week. No showings. No Absolutely. Offers. We got Dude, here's the game plan going forward. Let's do this price drop. So that's every Tuesday from six yeah. to seven thirty. So yeah. that doesn't interfere with the day. Yeah, that's early. Then on Wednesdays, what I started doing is Wednesday from eleven at night to yeah. midnight, I hit all the pendings. So I'm able to hit all the pendings, which is so hundred and twenty pendings. But how that goes is, hey guys, just want to check in, want to let you know <clears throat> we've been following up. Any questions on your end, let me know. So I wake up Thursday morning with like four million texts. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. So you texting them as well? Yeah, absolutely. This late at night? Yeah. Okay, cool. And the purpose is they're not going to respond. Gotcha. So yeah. that they're going to get back to me in the morning. Everything looks good or great. And you look like a, you look really good because you're texting people late. You know, I mean, wow, yeah. this guy works like a dog. This guy, yeah. you know, when reality is, yeah. it's a good, it's the only time I can think. Yeah. So yeah. it allows me to go through. I have a whole list. We print off MLS. Yeah. We print the list of pendings. And I just go through them one by one. Yeah. Hi, hi, Nancy. Just want to check it out. I'll actually show you because I did it last night. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, cool. since we got we got live and we got the podcast, D, you could ask the next question on the podcast, but I'm going to show them on so, live. This is a call list that this guy calls every day. How many numbers do you think are on here? Uh, a lot, dude. 50 calls. 50 calls. That's not counting calls. Kind of calls coming in. And who are these calls right here? Yeah, calls are coming those in are, all those day are either, long. Those are the people I met with recently that have yep. been looking to buy or sell yep. just to follow up. Yep. Those are people that I'm working on. Um, uh, people that call to set up appointments so I can set up yeah. their appointment for the weekend. Yeah. And those are people that call uh, realtors or other, just kind of follow up. Everybody. Everyone, Everybody. Everyone and everything. Gotcha. So here's an example of what a pending looks like. You can also do log in on Facebook and see the questions right from here that people may be asking. I know, that's what I'm doing. So here's an example. So, Let's take a look. So today actually was at midnight last night, see? This yeah. is one of my sellers. Go about the fire inspector. No, 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 hello. Hello, I just wanted to check in to make sure you don't have any questions. Okay, so you just go bang, 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 and just, just copy. All right, another big question from the last episode that a lot of people are asking is what you're doing to lead generate. Where are you getting that much business? Good question. Because they don't, they're, they're just mind boggling. They just tell them when you got to lead generate three hours a day. But technically, you're not going anywhere to lead generate. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. So, so who's I, doing it for you? How are the leads coming in? Where are you getting all that business to be able to do? So, somebody said hi from Dubai. Hi, Steph. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. Dubai. Dubai. Where is oh, that's big money. Wait, tell <laughs> everybody in Dubai. <laughs> does that <laughs> make the modern... To, to give us a call, right? Wait, is the modern American dream now international? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's go, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So, actually, so... And watch for it because I got called from Keller, I guess headquarters or whatever. They're doing the next, what's the magazine? Up front? Yeah, you're going to be on it? So I'll be in the next up Woo! Front. Dude, can, you, gonna, gonna, can you be like, I don't want a picture without my boys. Yeah, can you go to the show? Yeah, you so can't go there without they me. Asked me. They asked me that same question, right? How do you get your leads, right? So I was still my questions, man. I know, they took your question. Right, but we got the answer first, right here. Yeah. Right here. So, I take the spaghetti model, right? And you guys are like, spaghetti. spaghetti, what the hell does that mean? Yeah. I take a whole bunch of spaghetti, yeah. I throw it at the wall and whatever sticks, yeah. I ride with it, yeah. right? So yeah. I spend probably $10,000 a month on lead generation stuff. Yeah. Right? So give us yes, examples of that actual stuff. So I spend, I spend on Boomtown, yeah. I yeah. spend on Zillow, yeah. I spend on Realtor.com, yeah. Yeah. I have landing pages on Facebook. Yeah. I have landing pages on Instagram. Somebody else is doing all this stuff for you. Absolutely. You're just paying them the ton grand and you're yeah, like, you just generate phone, leads. Just get me the leads. And then they phone rings. A thousand times a day. And then is there literally, a filter literally. process between those all those leads coming in to them reaching you? Once I have a fil- I have a program set up, yep. once they engage, yep. it reaches me. And what is that program called? Oof. 
<laughs> we don't want to give away all Is it like artificial oh. technology? Hey, can we write a pro? We'll write a program and be like, we'll release it. So if I'm you want to know, I'm working on, on, on my own program. Own program. You know, oh, it's your yeah, own. Yeah, yeah. So it's I'm not like off you the got away. So I'm working on something. I'm working on a couple things. I'm working on a program yep. that I can work with the developer. Yep. Um, to kind of roll that out. If I wow. can, my next goal is if I can do next this year will be three. If I can do four and five, year four and five in the same position. I'll come out with a training program, yep, yep. training sessions. I want to start doing seminars. Training sessions. Oh, coach? Oh, yeah. Want, don't tell. Don't tell. I, I want to get it to that. I want to get to that level where I can help other people. Yeah. Right. But yeah. at the same time, I need to make sure I've made enough money for my family so they're, they're to be able to do it the right so way. So I can do it the right way. And so we're, now they're going to be blowing up our podcast and texting us every day. So when, when are you going to start coaching? That's what they're going to want. So I, I mean, I already get people that call and ask me that, and 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 I don't know yet. I don't know the answer yet, but when I roll it out, whenever I do it, I want to do it. Will you do us a favor, let DNA know first? You guys are going to be my hype man. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Woo! You guys are going to be my hype man. All right, you better I get know. us on the cover of that. And, and actually, let's, let's give you a little shout out. You were talking last time about possibly doing the podcast, so that would be super cool. If anybody's listening to the Modern American Dream. Kyle's going to have a podcast coming we out. We talked about that, yeah. so yeah. I'm not the biggest technology guy. I'm yep. a, I'm a, you know roll my sleeves up and get after it. Right? Yep. So what I'm working on is trying to figure out for next year to do yep. a podcast. Yep. A weekly podcast. Just kind of talk, go over things, give people insight, whatever. Yeah. I just need to come up with a game plan and a schedule. So, whether it's weekly or monthly. Yeah. I don't know. I need to look into it. Super more. easy. Yeah. We'll help you out. There's an app that we use. It's called Anchor. Yeah. Literally, just like right now, we press a button. Yeah. You record. You get a yeah. mic like this for 100 bucks. You record every night or whatever once a week. And then you just click publish you can edit it, but you don't even have to edit it. Or you can hire somebody to edit it. Or you can hire somebody. And it'll go on iTunes, you know, Stitcher, wherever people listen to podcasts, even, uh, you know, like any platform. It'll, so you know, I want to be that. I want to be that guy that people can say, look, like, if he did it, I can do it. Yeah. Because there's no reason why some, like, I came from the same as everybody else. Yeah. Like, my family got in real estate. Yeah. We don't, like, I don't have, I don't know, I didn't know a lot of people in real estate. Yeah. I just worked hard. I was honest to people and just continue to stay that route. And I don't think I'm better than anyone. I don't act like that. You yeah. mess with me, I'm going to mess with you back, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's I what I'm going to swear. I don't know if I can swear on this thing. You can you, swear. You, you can fuck, do whatever you, you fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with you back. <laughs> and if you're an asshole, I'm a big asshole. So just yeah. know that. But and generally, day, I'm nice to people. Yeah. If yeah. you were cool with me, I'm, yeah. we can have the easiest transaction in the world. Yeah. You try to start big boy me, it's over. It's over. Yeah. It's just gonna don't mess with the truth. It's going to end terrible. Then we'll send David to your house. He's going to be a baseball bat. Boom. That's awesome. So... And just in general, our observation has been when we drive around with you and we see you interact with people, it's, it's pretty nice. Like you're you're just a generally good dude, just normal. And that's what that's oh, a lot dude. of the thing I get. Like a lot of people out here, you're they, actually nicer. You're actually kind of on the nicer side. Then yeah, than most. People. Yeah, like my brother. You don't even way like, more of a dick than you. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> people cut you off. You don't even like. You just like whatever, you Keep know. Keep moving, man. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. A lot that's of cool. people don't like me, but they don't know me. A lot of Most people, people I get, I get don't a ton like of people that don't him. like me. Like, I'll hear from a lot of people, hey, I don't like him, he's an asshole. And yeah, then they'll tell, me, they'll tell me who it is. I'm like, I don't even know who that is. You <laughs> never How do you know that you don't like me? You don't even know who <laughs> that is. That's probably this dude right here. That's cool. Do we have, so let's see if we got any questions coming in on Facebook. What's the best return? Oh, that's a great question. Actually, I could log in on Facebook too. So, what's the best return? That, what's the best oh, ROI? Best so, honestly, the best return. So tonight, I'm. This is a good example of that. So tonight, I'm running a client appreciation event yep. at the Capitol Grill. Yeah. Okay. I had 275 people say they were going. Yeah. Okay. Yep. My opinion from that that'll probably cost me 20, 15 to 20 k. To get so, it's yeah. free open bar, drinks, food, whatever. Oh, right? uh, your boys are gonna do so, so, We're gonna so, be there, right? So my point with that is, it's always good to give back to your client base first. That, yeah, in my yeah. opinion, so that, in my opinion, is is my biggest return because I want to show these people I I give a shit. You care, care, but you I actually, actually do. Care. I do care. That's what, you but they care. know that. But you, you know what? Lie. No, I I, I fuck. You I just met with the lady before you, right? Yeah. Yeah. She had a she had she started crying because she was so happy. I calmed her down. She had it listed with someone else. She yeah. wanted to withdraw the property. Yeah. Right? So I said to her, I'll be over in 10 minutes. Let me look at it. She got referred to me by someone. I don't even know who it was. Yeah. yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll be there. 
So I go there and look at it. She, she's very, I can already tell she's very nervous. Yeah. I yeah. just stopped her. I said, here's all you need to know. Yeah. I have your back 100%. I will never fuck you over. That's yeah. all you need to know. We can sign anything you need. Right? I, yeah. I am going to protect you like you're my mother. She's yeah. an older lady. Yeah. Yeah. And she just started crying. Because she could tell I'm, I'm like, that's it, man. Yeah, I'm real. Like, I'm, a, I'm here for you. I'm gonna, I take this shit too serious. Yeah. yeah. It's not a game. Yeah. It's a serious shit. Man. You're helping people. Really, like help and the lady and, and look, at the end of the day I've done deals where I will take the like no commission. You yeah. get a deal done because I feel so bad for that person on the other side. It I'm doesn't like, matter about that. Like yeah. she, she wow, was who like, would do that? She was like not saying, me. <laughs> no, I know. And, 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 and unfortunately I'm in a position I could do that. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, with the volume if one comes off. But that went such a long way with people, like I did one recently. Yeah. That went so far with that lady. She's gonna tell everybody she's ever met. And and everybody, how great everybody, I am. Everybody. But at the reality I could see how much it hurt her to pay to pay out. Yeah. So let's just get the deal done. Yeah, yeah. I'll figure it out later. Yeah. You gotcha. pay, you know, you don't have to, you know, at the end of the day, I, I can appreciate that. Yeah. So somebody asked if you use Zillow and the answer is yes. And then the follow-up question to that is, what, which one of those would you say is your best ROI? Zillow's number one. Zillow? Yeah. Well, Real after clear. your client base, right? I say, I say your client base and your, your, your regular contacts are, yeah. are real important. Yeah. And my investor base, yeah. they know I got their back. So that's like, like would you say that's number two? Those guys, well, those guys are in the client base. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So okay. those so one. I've got a good group of, of yeah. thirty to forty to fifty year old people that buy and sell regularly. Those guys know that I'll do whatever for them. Yeah, I'm gonna go to back home. I'm gonna get it done. Right. And I'm here. You can call me at midnight. You can call me at four in the morning. I'm, I'm calling you at midnight I'm tonight. Shit. <laughs> I'm taking it. We do call them and text them right <laughs> anytime morning. And you answer quicker than my brother. And I know that's this is not doing as many <laughs> deals. Not even close. So, we were just talking about that. I thought I was the man. Every time, I, every time we come see you, it just humbles us. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I'm like I said. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I'm just I got lucky maybe, and I'm yeah. riding this wave, and I'm gonna ride the momentum. But yeah. I, I know. I think I figured the business out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. I think I figured out what works for me. Yep. Yeah. And. Why do you do what you do? Like, why work so hard? Because at this point, I would guess you got a good enough income coming from... Because before, you in the first episode, we talked about you had like a regular job. I, I don't know how much you were making, but 120. 120 grand a year. I'm guessing you make a little bit more now. <laughs> <laughs> probably not, probably a little bit more. So you technically don't need to go as hard. Like Amanda was saying, she's like, he goes for somebody who does what he does. Oh, he doesn't say no to anything, and he works so, so hard. So it's like... Why? So I gotta, I gotta first give props to my wife on this because yeah. she goes hard too. Sarah, so, Sarah so what's she up? she goes hard, right? So yeah. I go hard on my she, end, and yeah, she, she goes hard, she, and she challenges does. me on that too, right? So she cha- she's probably the only person that challenges me. Yeah. Everyone else just listens to what I say and yeah. just does what I tell them. And she's like, no, you're she's wrong. She's the only <laughs> one out of anyone. I, I meet a lot of people every day, all day. Yeah. 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 She's the only one that really challenges yeah. and kind of says, yo, step the fuck back or you need to chill. Like, you're not doing this right. Like, you're yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You're right? Wrong. So it's good to have that kind of checkmate there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why do I go so hard? Because when you get to the position, I want to be at the top. <laughs> I don't want to come back. I want to stay. You, you want right? to stay. So I want to stay at the top. Yep. And I know there's so many people that want to be where I'm at. The only way I can let that happen is if I take my foot off the gas pedal. Yeah. And I'm scared to go back. I don't want to. Go you don't want to stop. Me. I don't want to a go back, and I don't want to ever work for someone again. Yeah. So those two things will drive me like crazy to get me to that next. Yeah. To take me from 500. Can I do 600? Can you do a thousand? Do it. I, I think time constraint wise, five hundred probably though. That's probably per per, 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 as per as an for me, five hundred is probably. If I get five hundred this year, you'll be maxed. To I don't know how many more hours I can work next year. Like I'm going six in That's the morning. That's capacity. Six to one. How much more can I go? Yeah, you gotta sleep less. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you still got yeah, five, you five, five hours. hours yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sleep then, Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping so much? much. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. All right. What do you got? You got any questions for my boy Kyle? No. Man. I know this guy. I do have a question. Special. I'm good. We're until this guy. We're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Until the guy gets here, you good. So right. we got three minutes. Man. No, you got 20, you got 15 minutes. He'll be late. 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. all right. Cool. He knows the schedule. He even knows who's going to be late when they're going to be late. That's, that's like, exactly. That's like clockwork on the money. Hey, man, why did you get into real estate? 
I love this just, story. This just, is the best. Just to have a, a couple extra bucks to go on vacation. <laughs> is that crazy? <laughs> Did so, you? We where was that first time. vacation, though? Maybe. How was that first vacation? And where was it? closed a couple deals and you're like, we're good. going. So, yeah, we thought, you know, I mean, the first year when you make, because again, you guys know, you're 1099. Yeah. The one you're making is like, well, I closed six or seven deals. You yeah. know, that's like cash in your pocket. You yeah. know, whoa, whoa, I, I made it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, I remember the first year. I'll never forget this. So the first year I, I did, I made forty something thousand in real estate, which is fine. That's great. That's what you did your first year. Yeah. That's more than me. I made like five hundred. Yeah, you <laughs> made like. They had to split that. Hey, I think <laughs> I, we can just, we can just. I think we summed up success. You gotta do really bad your first year, and then you could be successful in real estate. Yeah. yeah. No. So for so I told the guy, my broker at the time. I had a check that was coming in like December 31st, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, hold it for the next year. I don't want to get taxed on it. And then just looking back, like it's such a small, it was such a small, such small check. <laughs> I was like, the guy was thought I was the fucking biggest idiot. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hold this $5,000 check. Yeah. And now I think about it and, you know, I am just thankful for it on that. I'm great, grateful for all my clients. I'm yeah. thankful to be in a position. And people actually listen and give a fuck what I say. Yeah. You know, if you told me this seven years ago, I would have said you're crazy. Yeah. And I had a good, and I'm telling you a lot right now, but yeah. I feel comfortable with you guys. I had a good friend, and I, this kind of drove the shit out of me too. Two yeah. other stories that, you know, still drive me and I'll never forget. Good friend of mine, when I was starting out, yeah. um, bought a house from another broker. Yeah. yeah. His wife's a but you know what, and they decided yeah. to go with another broker. Yeah. And we sat after he closed. I was sour about it, right? I'm not yeah. gonna lie. You're my good friend. I was in your wedding. You're in my wedding. I'm yeah. like, all right, I'm yeah. gonna eat that. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So what happened was maybe I saw him another month, and he said, "Look, I just want to let you know that my girl said the reason she didn't go with you is she felt the other lady was much better, and this might not be a good business for you." Yeah. So she. Wow. So they were like, you know, I, I, you know, I don't think this is your thing. You know, maybe it, you maybe have Sarah do the outside, and you probably be better be in the background. Oh, so wow, I said, that stung. I said, okay. Wow, so that's what we're doing. Man. So you know, this is gonna be like a thousand dollars. What's this? Shit? <laughs> so ever, since, ever since that day, I'll never forget that. And that'll yeah. drive me. And then one other quick story. Well, you passed that point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, you know what? That's good, and that helped me out. That pushed yeah. me, and I'm never yeah. gonna forget where what people thought. And there was another yeah. story. Uh, back maybe five or six years ago, I almost left KW and went to a smaller mom and pop in yep. the building I own across the street. Yep, yep. And the lady, I tried to get a 90-10 split yep. with no cap, yep. right? And she said, no way, he doesn't do nearly enough business to deserve that. Oof. And I'll no never, way. ever, ever, She would have been a millionaire right now if that 10%. Percent. I'll never wow. forget that. And when oh. I see her now, I'm just look at her like, you motherfucker. I gotta say... I'll give you that deal today, right now. You can work for the oh, end of nine ten. For the end of nine ten, no way. That's a good deal. Oh. All right, so let's switch up the gears a little bit and talk about a new agent just starting out or an agent who's struggling. What would you say is the one thing? Say they don't have any money. They're yeah. not doing mm -hmm. one deal. Yeah. You know, yeah. They say the average mm -hmm. agent does like six to eight deals a year. Yeah, maybe say they're that same. average agent or worse. Yeah. What is the one thing they have to change today to take their business to the next level? Immediately. So, immediately, so they you should, immediately you should reach out to everybody in the office who needs open houses covered. Ooh, I'd be doing nice. weeknight open houses. Yeah. I'd be doing weekend open houses. All day. I'd be doing whatever. Right? So that's a free form to get yourself out there. Yeah. And I used to get a ton of business from open houses. I hate doing them now, but I used to get a ton of business from yeah. it. You used to, so you would say do open houses. I still houses. do four open houses a weekend. Two on Saturday, two so on Sunday. So you're still doing that open houses every yeah. weekend. And then I have, there's agents in my KW that yeah. want to do them, and I help them out. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. And, and here's the thing. Whatever you get, I don't want a fucking dollar. You don't Even get a referral fee. I don't want it. You let that go. That's you. Wow, you're that's doing huge. open house, take it. Right? Yeah, yeah. So that's probably like another 500000 in GCI. <laughs> <laughs> right out the window. But again, for me, it's not about that. Yeah, it's not about how many people can you help. How, how good can you be? Like, and I, I had, I had a funny story. On that. I had somebody that was helping me with open houses, and yeah. and I, he was doing four a weekend. Yeah, for and you, he, he was new, yeah. and I said, I'll help you, dude. Do four a weekend. This fucking guy tried to call the seller behind my back and get the listing. Wow, wow. Even though you let him keep all no, the. I business. was like, dude, what, why would you ever do? It was a four million dollar house in in Newport. 
Yeah. I gave him the open house, said you can have it. Yeah. Oh. He gave the lady her card. Gave the lady his card. And what was, a shy oh, You should do it, man. You want to know how that conversation went the next day? How? <laughs> Not good. Yeah. I called him and I, I, I just went ballistic on him. You know what? Like, how what stupid shit, are you? How yeah. dumb are you? So now you're dead to me. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking call me again. Yeah. Don't talk to me again. Yeah. Right. Give me my sign back. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and, and, and that's the reality. You, you know Hell what? Yeah. The, Hell yeah. That makes me think. That's what I would say about too. like thinking big and thinking What's small. Up, Pete Smith? If that guy was still around today, hanging around with you, learning from you, he'd be. Way, I don't know what he's doing now, but I'm thinking he'd be way ahead. He's, he's not doing formula yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Doing, But again, doing it's not even It's about like giving you the opportunity And then you taking it and throwing it back in my face Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, that's like, that's shit like shady, man, shady, man. Yeah. shady Like, why be shady? I've been up front with you I've opened the door yeah, and said, right, what's here, up? go ahead what's Do what up? you gotta do, yep. take it, right? Yep. And again, I'm, I, you guys know You guys meet with other realtors who have the best systems in the world yep. I'm yep. not a systems guy yep. I'm going to print shit out and take it from there, and yeah. go from there. It's all yeah. old it's school all printed. Old school, I mean look This is a calendar right here Calendar, that's two a calendar, calendar. Is two that's calendars. A Google calendar. calendar It's a Google calendar It's a Google <laughs> calendar It's a Google calendar It's 300 That thing has deals on a Google calendar Two calendars a day Oh man Do you ever want to grow beyond just you and build a team and hire other agents? I don't. I don't. No. No. So he wants to help people do, because I'd rather do that. So you'd rather, rather get into right? coaching? I'd rather get into, I don't know if it's coaching or if it's seminars or if it's online training. Well, so you just do videos. Hey, right. this is That's what I'm like saying. a cop right. see with hologram comes out. What's you up? Want to <laughs> slap everybody. But I think what I can, what I've done and I've noticed with other people is sometimes people get these like roadblocks and hurdles yeah. and they reach out and ask me and they, they leave and they're like, yo, I was, damn. Yeah. And it's something I take so for granted. Yeah. And they're like, damn, I never, thought, their life. I never thought of that. Yeah. Like I had a kid last week, he was doing an open house. He asked me to shadow me. Come yeah. on out, kid. Yeah. No problem. And the kid was getting referrals from some program or whatever. Yeah. And he was denying them. He's like, I'm denying them because I feel like I don't need to give them a referral. I said, Why? You're not making one dollar right now. <laughs> why would you not like take like it. it's just why you just take it. Hey. And it's like take that yep. one referral and yep. then everyone they've ever met, that's yep. where you get the money off of you get the full commission off of. Yep. Not that that one just I still take those things. So I should you still take them. all day long. I must get thankfully and I'm so happy about this, I probably get one or two calls a week from people out of state that need to sell that have like a realtor yeah. and they find me somehow and they're like, hey, my friend needs to sell his house. Yeah. Fantastic. I love those. They want the referral, they get paid real fast. Hell yeah. yeah. Those are like all day. Yeah, like, I feel like even we've been here, what, this is our third time, third time in person, yeah. but we call you and text you all the time, all the right? And I feel like since we shadowed you, our business improved. But you know what? Not it's even that. Right? The way we think about the shit that we're doing is just different. And every time we come out here, we're like a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. And it's not a lot, but it's enough to make us different from where we were. Right. Any little bit you get out of it is valuable. Hell yeah. yeah. Otherwise, Hell you're yeah. just staying still, right? And right. You always got to be growing. You got to move forward. Every day I tell myself, and we text all the time, and I yeah. say it all the time, but I'm dead serious. I got to be dead better. serious. I need to be better. Like, yeah. and tomorrow, we're like, and we're I need like, to what be better the hell is tomorrow than today. The like, I got to be better. Every you day you got to be better than the day before. Every single day. And every day there's a mistake that's made and you can't let it happen again. Right. Yeah. Shame so on you. Gotta learn, you got to learn from those mistakes. Don't make the same mistake twice. Right. Don't make the same. Don't keep making the same mistake and figure out what works for you. Did you yeah. get Did you get inundated or a lot of activity from the last time we were here? People reaching out and asking questions? I get... Um, not really. No. No. What, when and people call you... Is there a question that usually comes up that's like, what's the most common question that people ask? How do you get your leads? How do you get that's your leads? Like the that's like the number that's one. A, that's that's what everybody asks. Everybody, how do you get your leads? How, Answer do, you, that how question. do you do it? How but do you like, do does it? it matter how you get your leads? No, I mean, I told you how I got so it doesn't no matter. Secret. Not so most secret. people can get money. leads and not convert. Follow up with and I leads. and I tell people this too. Here's the other thing. Yeah. Whether you like me or hate me, some people, like I said. But for my clients and people I meet that are in a position of being client, I feel like I can get along. I can relate to the guy selling a ten thousand dollar mobile home yeah. and the lady selling a five and a half million dollar property. And you would take that ten thousand dollar mobile home. I already I take them all the time. Yeah. 
all the time. Because yeah. who does that person know? Who knows? You don't know. You don't know. Who, they yeah. may that may be a mobile home for them, and their uncle's a multimillionaire. So yeah. now that somebody's listened to this, right, and they know where you get the leads and what you do, and they're still not successful, what would you say is the difference between making that person successful and not like? Why is somebody that we literally you listen to the podcast, watch the video, it's gonna just said everything he does. But some people are still gonna continue to struggle in the business. So what's that differentiating factor between wow, success that's a good question. and failure? I think it's you have to be likable. Likable. And you can't Ooh, be you have you to expect that I think you have to be likable. Yeah. I think you can't be treat people like down cheap, talk down to people, care about people. I think you have to there's just so many different factors in there that you have to like you have to differentiate yourself. Why would they work with you? You have to add value too. You can't yeah. just be like I meet with a lot of new realtors and you know, this sounds gonna sound bad, but I think to myself they have no ch- no no chance. Yeah. I can tell you in two seconds, like you have no chance. Yeah, yeah. Like, just not for you. Yeah. Because, because they don't some, care or they're introverted. Yep. They don't know anything about real estate. They don't understand sales. They don't want to work nights, weekends, and whatever. Yeah. They don't want to do whatever it takes. Right. It takes, dude. Whatever it takes. And this business is And you've got to sacrifice. You've got to sacrifice. Like, I I mean, look. If Think about it. If I'm working from 6 or 7 to 7 on the road. Yeah. And then from 8 to 11, what am I sacrificing? Yeah. I got two kids. Right. Right. I got two kids. I'm not seeing them. I could go... I can go almost a full week and only see them a half hour a day. Yeah. That's the sacrifice, but that's a sacrifice while they're young. Yeah. So that while they get older, you know what I mean? I can, I can. So how, how many more years do you think you're going to be selling real estate at this high level? Ooh. I'm in it to win it, baby. So for like 20 20 years. Years. Until we I'm, come I'm and I'm take 10, the number one spot. Until these guys take over. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to another 10 years of me. If you're just selling like five hundos. Unless coaching, unless I go into coaching and I dominate it and I crush it, yeah, yeah. then I'll, I could just say see you later. All right, but I need to have something. I want fifty one percent of that business. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> oh, yeah. I I'm gonna throw this out there. Okay, I'm, gonna, the look, I'm, I'm gonna throw this out there. This is a dead serious proposition. I'll take it. Done deal. Anybody can put together a program for me. Yeah. In coaching or podcast or whatever. I'm willing to do a profit share. There you go. I'll take share. that deal. Come on. Yo, any, any vote. Any put vote. Put program to get on this slide. All right, whoever, got whoever can whoever do it, it and figure it out. I've talked to a number of people. No one's been able to figure it out. We just figured it out. I don't, we got, like, we got I don't have the time to do it. Zero to your first 60 deals with Kyle Seabit. Coming soon. Coming if soon. If you're going to buy the course, if you're going to buy right it, now. say yes. <laughs> Send an email to info at dna-realty.com if you we buy got the course. It will put you on a waiting list. All right, we're gonna make we're gonna make a single make, yeah. and you won't even have to change anything. We'll just do all the work. We'll just come. Do you know how many people asked us to like they're like next time you go, can you bring us? And we're like, yeah, we'd love to, but we can't have like twenty people in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't think like you know what I mean. Like we're like all everybody was like, can, we, can you bring? We have to rent the bus. Actually, second offer. We'll rent the bus, but it's gonna be pretty expensive. What's the bus? Yeah, person. and you can hang out on the bus. So right, here's the other thing too, right? So, uh, you got you guys actually call me no, like during the day. I'm from one place to another. Yeah, so you you call you only call me today, which is a good day because I had that event. Yeah. So I was my last appointment was at four thirty. Yeah. Because then I have to go to that. It's only because you like us. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, I was like, thank God, and my my twelve thirty and my my twelve and my one canceled. So it was actually a good day for you to come out because yeah. you know normally where go go go. Yeah, yeah. I actually I'm told him dude. I was like, yo, we we can't. He's actually gonna be here at twelve, and he didn't believe me. Mm-hmm. Dude, I meet people that sell like fifty houses on a team as an agent, like a buyer's agent. Like yeah. it's unheard of, right? Like they're tired and they're working a lot. It's a lot. Right? How do you? So like, I'm not even tired. How you, how I'm is that possible? I'm not even tired. Look at me. I'm not even tired. Yeah. Not even tired. <laughs> Can you so, look at them and tell them? So the question, tired. How, much of, how much of that production? And success is mindset. All mindset. All mindset. Ninety nine. One hundred percent. One hundred percent mindset. One hundred percent. Here's how. Here's how. Just tell you something. When it's hundred degrees out, I have same clothes on. Okay. Everyone else has shorts and, and sandals and whatever. Yeah. I tell myself it's not hot. Not hot. Right. Yeah. I tell myself it's not cold. I'm not cold. Right. I tell myself, and here's the one thing: you should never finish work when you're tired. You finish when you're finished. 
Yeah. Every Ooh. night, I don't stop when I'm tired. Yeah, when I get baby. tired, I stop for a minute, yeah. Yeah. and I look at myself, I say, you gonna be a baby, or are you gonna finish this work? You yeah. gotta finish. So, you have to finish. Every phone call, email, and text should get responded. So responded to. Every single one of them. And you say it all the time, you like, I get back to everybody. Every one of them. So, before. let's just put it in perspective, right? Yeah. While yeah. we're on, yeah, I don't wanna bu bug you, you know, make you guys bored, but. No, you don't make us bored. Damn, we get so bored, man, I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. I, I can get, you know, 20, 40 texts in, a, in in 20 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes. Like, how many texts do you have right now, probably, in the, during this podcast? Yeah, I got like 100. Yeah, that's you know, crazy. I have 16 crazy. right now. So 16. It's not bad. It's not a, it's a, it's a easy 16. Day. Wow. I don't even think I got 16 comments on my Facebook live. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy's nonstop, straight up hustler. Um, let's finish off just thinking about saving and reinvesting the money that you're making mm -hmm. today, right? Because a lot of people that we meet and we've shadowed, they say the, the top 1% of that's a lot of money. I so tell us about your other businesses and what you're doing with your profits So as a business person. So from a business standpoint, I probably own right now 80 to 90 more units. Of nine. multi family, 80 to 90. I Last sold, time you did, I, I, no, I sold off a bunch. Oh, I, you sold, did? I sold three, four units. So I sold about 12. Yeah. Um. So I sold off a bunch. Why did you sell them off? Because they were just not in great neighborhoods. Not for So I sold my dogs and I yeah. bought. I don't even know where I'm at now because I bought another six. Yeah. And a bunch of singles and stuff. Yeah. So I'm kind of like reassessing my. To real estate. I'm looking at my portfolio yeah. and I'm readjusting things. Yeah. And I'm getting ready for the next downturn. Yeah. Um. To be ready to buy again. We just went to one. Yeah. Right. So that's an example of something that might be in the wheelhouse. Yeah. I also do. Probably, two, I do a bunch of flips. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the number out of it, but I do a bunch of flips. Yeah. Um, so flipping, buying homes. Buying homes. Yeah. I save a lot. Yeah. I don't spend a lot of money. You don't spend you a lot of money. When do you have time to spend? That's what I mean. Like, so the people that spend. You wanna go out with us tonight? You can splurge us. We're gonna party. So I, I, I don't spend a lot of money. Anymore. Yeah. I mean, you don't even have time to spend. No. Money. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. You don't read books. Usually, the, the one of the questions we have is like, "What's your number one recommendation book. for a book?" Can you just make read. something up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't read books. So I don't know. Does uh, a book come to mind at all? No. <laughs> I never. I mean, this is gonna the sound. The Bible. Read the this Bible. This sound crazy too. And, you know, I'm not a big. I, I got ADD pretty crazy. I can't sit yeah. still. Yeah. So I don't think I've ever read a whole book in my life. Yeah. And I have a master's degree. And I have an undergrad, and I have yeah. What's your master's in again? Finance. And you have your CFP, right? CFA. 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 Suffolk. Yeah, Suffolk. This guy's the um, real deal. I mean, so I'm not some bozo. All right, you're I, not a bozo. Maybe I'm a bozo. I guess, <laughs> I guess since you don't read, give them, as we sign off here, one piece of advice that you think can change their lives, whether it's a book, a course, a piece yeah. of action. Like something they could do today to better their lives, whether it's in real estate or just their life in general, like what they could do different to be better people, to have the modern American mm -hmm. dream. So my system. thing is never be complacent. Never be never, complacent. Ever. That's going to be the name. Never be complacent. complacent. Always want more. That should Woo! be the name of the podcast. Oh, <laughs> dude. That, that might be it. Be the podcast. I'm going to name this episode Never Be Complacent. That would be completely. So, right. will you get people to listen to this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get yeah. instantly 100 downloads. Do you think so? Yeah, oh, yeah. For sure. We know. I'll send you the number. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, not on Facebook. We can see on Anchor, you can see how many people that download it. Yeah. We already have 1,000 downloads on our on our um, podcast. Yeah. And the biggest name we have is Ivan Meisner, the guy who found the BNI. He's pretty really big. He's Oh, yeah. We were in Texas. We were in Texas. We're in Texas. Yeah. Texas. You know, actually, drinking wine, Kyle, <laughs> like this. Yeah. Dude, oh, like, he's in that show. He's like, he's, he's so man. relaxed. He started being I. Started being He just like, what he does now is a lot of interviews and uh, like just brand ambassador, like awareness. But yeah, he said he sold like, he still owns it, but he sold the majority of it off. And mm -hmm. he's also, he said he makes more money off his real estate investments than he does off of BNI. And B&I is huge. huge. So he's huge. smart. So one thing I've always said, and my goal, and I can you know put this out there, yep. my goal has always been to have $100,000 of passive income per month. Yeah. So if I can get my my family to have $100,000, my kids to have 50 and 50, yep. that right. when yep. I'm done, there's 50000 for one daughter, 50000 for the other daughter each month. Yeah. I feel like they can live comfortably off of that. Yeah. Yeah, are you adopting? You want two sons? And we'll help pay my own yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how much toss I'll take ten, I'm good with ten. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
So that's been the goal I've had for a while. So that's a good get goal. To that goal yeah. to get to that passive income. Awesome. We know you got a bunch of stuff to do. Guys, if you have questions, email us, info at dna-realty.com. You, you can also post you, questions Ty. on Facebook. And if you want to get a hold of him, is Facebook the best avenue to get a hold of you? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's Kyle Sebeth on Facebook, and mm -hmm. that's pretty that's much it. it. We're, We're right, signing man. off. All right, guys, thanks for listening to the Modern American Dream Podcast. People on Facebook, thank you for watching. Wow, that went way longer than this. How do you shut this down? Finish?